So this one's been a bit of an interesting month. Um, I've not really done a great deal of angling in terms of for other species. I ended up not doing an April vlog because to be honest I just didn't do any angling and I've been that busy at work that when I did I just wanted it to be for myself really. I didn't want to be kiting around cameras and trying to get all these fancy shots and that. I just wanted to go because I wanted to personally do it. And this month's been fairly similar to be honest. I haven't done loads of angling. Um, I've done a bit more time down at Ripping Race Course but to be honest I don't really want to show too much of that on these because I am trying to film like one long um, like one long campaign film for that that I can bring out at the end of the year. I did finally manage to get off the mark. I did have two fish um, in separate sessions. Uh, we'll go back and we'll have a quick look at both of them. Just a touch over £20. <laughs> Wicked fish. Had it on a little single. 16 wraps over to a nice clear area that I know of. Finally the persistence has paid off. Hopefully this is the start of things to come. Well, here we go. Absolute last knockings. Just I thought it was all over. £20.10 this one. So as you can see, I mean they were pretty mega fish to get off the mark with. They have started spawning down there now, so the lake's closed. Um, and that's another reason why I haven't really been out a lot. I mean, the lake's closed. The rivers haven't started yet. Um, and work's just been mental. Yeah, so not strictly fishing, but um, along the same lines, this month's been a massive month of preparation for the upcoming river season. So that meant that I spent a huge amount of time sorting out the absolute dump that is my tackle room. Um, that took me like all day. Hoovered it, dusted it, organised it, cleaned everything, got it absolutely spotless, everything in its place, ready to go. So come June the 16th, I know where everything is, and then when I'm ready to go for different species, I've got it all organised. Um, also, it meant that I knew what I had enough of and what I needed to buy. I also started getting some baits chopped in half to start pre-baiting stretches of the river. And just doing an all-round bit of preparation really. The rest of this month's been spent actually looking for fish themselves. So I spent a lot of time walking down the river in search of the elusive barbel that I'm still yet to actually catch um, and I've just spent a lot of time finding new little stretches, new pools um, and I've just been baiting them bit by bit every day just preparing everything so then I have my bait ready the swims will be baited hopefully good to go just got a couple more tackle orders to do and then I'm good to go for June 16th so hopefully when I see you next time it'll be in the river season and I'll be holding either some chub or preferably some barbel which would be amazing but I will see you then when the good times are upon us but what I'll do is I'll leave you with the footage that I've taken from this month and that just kind of shows you how I've actually gone about baiting and preparing the river so yeah that's it from me and when I see you next time we'll be well into the river season and hopefully I'll be a bit more prepared, there'll be a bit more going on and there'll actually be a few more fish. Um, yeah, yeah, but um, I'll see you then. Basically what I'm doing is the water's so clear at the minute. You can, I mean that's, that's thigh deep and it looks, you know, you can see every little detail. And generally I find that this is the best way to find fish. Um, everyone always creeps along the bank but what what you forget is like that's where that's why you know you're so much higher and you're towering above them and nine times out of ten even if they don't see you you're crunching branches i mean trying to get through that stuff and not be noticed is impossible now if you can if you're allowed 
walking down the middle of the river like this, just step by step, just going along the river, doing it in your socks, no waders or anything, because waders, they move the gravel when you work with your wading boots, and they create that crunching noise, and you spook everything away. But if you can just creep down in your socks like this, it's an absolutely amazing way of finding fish you can get where you can get within almost touching distance of them, they just don't seem to spook and you get really up close and personal with all of the features in the river um, and you can just go along and you can you can just drop pellets on them and it also means that you learn where the snags are before you start fishing and another thing is the minnows tickle your feet when you stop walking <laughs> oh my god